Hey everybody, Draconix here with a new Let's Play featuring L.A. Noir. Haven't played too much beyond the uh, first mission after the tutorials. Um, however, this is going to be my third time attempting to record this. So let's uh, get through this abysmal, bor abysmally long and boring intro. And yes, I'm making you watch the tutorial cases. Loading... A city on the verge of greatness. A new type of city, based not on the man, but on the automobile. The car. The symbol of freedom and vitality. McNamara! Okay. The city where a man's home is his castle. A quarter acre of the dream made possible by victory. Is it? I think everyone's faces actually look kind of creepy because they're so realistic. The city of opportunists. More like Uncanny Valley. The city of dreams. Where Hollywood will shape the thoughts and desires of the entire planet. The horse has no legs! City of Pioneers. A city of dreamers. City of undercurrents, where not everything is as it seems. A 20th century city that will become a model for the world. A city that has no boundaries, that will stretch as far as the eye can see. Looks pretty pretty at night. Marine Corps, you deal with the chain of command. Mistakes get made, but you deal with them. You know what you're fighting for, and that you're on the same team. But dealing with corruption is like chasing shadows. You never know whether the guy you're talking to is on the path, or whether it's your partner, or maybe even the watch commander. So who do you trust, Cole? I mean, it might KGBL calling car 14 Adam. 14 Adam, come in. Go ahead, KGPL. 14 Adam, see the detective an ambulance shooting at 6th and Industrial Street. Get a 16 William request <laughs> uniform assistance for an evidence search. Look at Cole, Adam, he's so confused. To. Roger, 14 and Adam in route. Yeah! Here we go again. They don't request uniforms for an evidence search unless there's some kind of catch. Ever the optimist. From the beam of sunshine himself. We're trying to drive cautiously this time because last time they yelled at me a lot because I hit a lot of things. And here we are! Alleyway crime scene, 10 11 p.m. The coroner left in his coroner Boy mobile. Rose, homicide. You might back up? Yes, sir. Phelps and Dunn, Wilshire Division. We had a shooting took place down this alleyway. We have the Vic, Scooter Payton, a Negro male, backed and up and on his way to Central Morgue. Witness says a tall white guy, our shooter, put two in the Vic's head and then threw his piece. I need you guys to try and recover the gat. You want Johnny to look Gat? Anywhere in particular? Give it your best shot, guys. The dead guy's a low life. Hey! I'm not expecting any miracles here. And if That's we recover racist. the weapon, bag it and return it to technical services. You hurry it up, Floyd. We got I'm out of here. To be. Happy hunting. I don't like you, Mr. Floyd Rose. I'm gonna whip out my pimp and flashlight this and is find this gun. Pump. Just going through the motions. You're probably right. Let's just get it over and done. Ralph, don't All right, fist have dump. it your way. We'll search right up to the back wall. Okay. If you still don't come up with anything, come find me and we'll talk it out. Psh, Two heads uh, are always better than one. Psh, I don't need to talk out nothing with you. Got it, Ralph? 
You got you got me? Now pardon me while I run Look ahead. At this junk. Yes, it's junk. <sighs> okay. Now then, get ready for um exposition. Backstory. It's side not my story. Job whatever. To through other people's trash. Dr. Fontaine. Could I have a word? Of course, young man. Of I really course. enjoyed your lecture, Doctor. Psychiatry seems to have a tremendous amount to offer. Why, thank you. I'm always happy to receive acknowledgement for my work. The mind is the last great mystery in medicine. Are you thinking of specializing, Mr... Sheldon. Or Courtney Sheldon. Hi, Courtney. I'm only in second year, Doctor. They fast-tracked me a year because of my experience during the war. Ah. That's what I wanted to talk to you about. <laughs> Battle fatigue and collapse under duress. Can it be helped? I would say PTSD. Yes. Given the right set of circumstances, trauma forces the mind to close down, retreat in on itself. We try to find ways to unlock the mind again through a combination of therapy and drug treatment. Hypnosis and therapy are powerful tools in the right hands. Shift. And being a creeper. I've been to visit some of the guys at the VA hospital. Hmm. Yes. A good friend of mine. He's so far away. It's like he's wandering. You went through a lot me. together. Yes, Doctor. Give me his details and I'll make a prognosis. I have a number of clinics in Los Angeles, Courtney Sheldon. And your penance for your friend's health is to come and work at one of them in your spare time. With what little spare time a medical student has. Is that a deal? Is it ever? I recommend I, I Fontaine Futuristics. I'm not promising a cure, Courtney. I want you to remember that. Every physician has patients that he cannot hope to cure, for whom he can only smooth the path to death. Creepy. <laughs> and this guy's walk that walks past in the red shirt. Oh, man. <laughs> Okay, that's that. No, I do not want your bottle, sir. Instead, Cole, come take a look at this. Okay, run, Cole, run. Okay, run, run faster, Cole. You're not. That's not running. Ah, uh, it's not my job to pick through other people's trash. It's grape jam. Shooter put him up against the wall and blew his brains out. Or that. Hell of a way to go. Doesn't really matter how you go once you're gone. <laughs> Don't this get does. all deep on me, Phelps. You, you could go out in a blaze of glory, you know. Okay, now I have to hit tab and look at my notebook, look at the clues, and show you all what a pretty drawing that Cole made. And then close the book. The gun! Ralph, there's something on the rooftop. How the hell did you see that? I heard a ding and it Reflection told me to look. Window. Looks like it might be our weapon. I'm gonna see if I can find a way up there. Alright, don't hurt yourself. Oh, right, I have to exit. So, much like in Assassin's Creed 2... The gun's up on the roof, right? So we need to find a way up. Shut up, Ralph. Okay, I'm gonna climb up the drain pipe. Um, lamely. Not cool like Ezio would. What kind of chumps do these homicide guys think we are? Ralph, shut up, not now. I'm investigating things. Rotate the gun. Gun is rotating. How you okay. doing, Cole? Smith & Wesson. Yet? Serial S71893. Two rounds fired. And instead of dropping it down a drain, our shooter hoists it up here. Interesting guy. Or smart guy. Because, I mean, I would have looked in the drain first. We should follow up on this now, before the perp tries to leave town. We have the gun, Cole. 
Let's take it back to Central. We could get a commendation. Could show some initiative, Ralph, and see if we can come up with an owner. That's a long shot, Cole. No, it's not. It's a pretty fancy gun. You know a local gun store? Sure. There's a place a couple of blocks from here. Ralph, you're just lazy. That's all there is to it. Now, come on. No. Are you sure about this? It's not really our gig. Shut up. No harm in do doing it. some digging. The suits didn't seem to give much of a damn. Such a little boy scout, Cole. You can't wait to get out of that uniform, can you? No, I can't. You'd it shakes. You'd rather round up drunks and help old ladies across the road? I'd rather get through the day without the captain's foot up my ass. It'll be fine, Ralph. You worry too much. Besides, you're... Okay, Ralph, you're getting awfully close behind me after talking about foots up asses. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah? You got... You're gonna try and keep up with me? Huh? Yeah? Well, I'm gonna get to the car first, Ralph. Okay, Ralph, you gotta tell me how to get here. Next right. Well, I, I kind of figured that part. Right here. I know. Ralph. Straight on here. Okay, good. You gotta tell me where to go, buddy. I have no clue. Well, yeah, there's a little yellow dot, but it's not like I have GPS like in Saints Row. Take this left. Which? Whoa, which left? Left here. Okay, okay. Jeez, Ralph, chill. Wait, why am I going left? What are you doing to this car? Um, ca calm down. Calm down. Everybody just calm down. It's okay. It's okay. Just a little smashed. <clears throat> Tell me where I'm going. Go right just now. Ralph, you suck at this. Take the next right. Okay, good. Uh, don't hit the guy, don't hit the guy. Don't move if you use the siren belts. Yeah, that's a good idea. But it's annoying. I mean, seriously, do you guys really want to hear... Yeah, I don't want you guys to have to hear that. So, we're gonna just drive a little... Leave me alone, recklessly. Take the next left. Okay, this... The next big left, I'm guessing. Okay, just carefully... Go straight over the intersection. Oh, uh, okay, okay. I see it. Central guns. Whoa! I had the right of way, dude. Gun store, 10.32 p.m. Wait, so finding the gun and getting here only took 21 minutes? That's impressive. Alright, Ralph. Let me do the talking, okay? Officers Phelps and Dunn. Can you tell us anything about this gun? Smith & Wesson. Model 27 registered Magnum. Chambered for 357. Nickel plated with pearl grips. Sounds nice. Same gun used by General Patton. <laughs> You're not suggesting he's the owner. No. Shut up, I'm Ralph. Not. You seem to know a lot about the weapon. I ought to. I sold it. You know this piece will stop a rhino. Uh-huh. These babies are only available special order. Here's my Smith & Wesson order book. <laughs> you mind if I take a look? Be my guest. This is if... about something bad, right? What do you think, buddy? If they're only Model available... 27 with pearl grips, Cole. Yeah, I you got it. You see it on there? I got it. If they're so... Oh, you mean the brand Sp Smith & Wesson. I was going to say, if they're so special, then why do you have a whole book for them? Oh, Paulus Nickel, Pearl Grip, Schrodinger! We're in luck. Errol Schroeder, 203 South Glass Street. Ordered the gun in February 46. Thanks, you've been a big help. Anytime. Always happy to help out the LAPD. Always happy to be helped out. Wait, yeah. Sure. Why not? Come on, Ralph. Don't make me pull your leash on you. Let's no. see if he's at home. Owning the gun.